You know, I was able to see, oh, maybe 15 minutes of television last night. <laughs> and um, there's what's known as radar. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seemed that the weatherman was uh, very excited about the weather, and I was I was happy for him. <laughs> Being a weatherman has got to be a, a difficult job to keep it exciting. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but there's actually a radar that I thought was sewn in. Um, <laughs> into my mind, Angelina. Pouch! Now, uh, the United Nations ambassadors that I mentioned yesterday, yes, <laughs> I wanted to, to find out where the czars are. Pouch. <laughs> Do you remember during the Obama administration? Yes, we had quite a few czars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the Bush administration? Yes. <laughs> and then uh, there's the Trump administration? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard a lot about the czars during the Trump administration, and I thought we should go through all the czars this morning that <laughs> are kind of, uh, well, they're another administration that nobody really thinks about, but <laughs> they're giving a, a special type of authority, and I think they're appointed to office. Yes. <laughs> now there was Holgren? Yes. Uh-huh. The guy with the big mustache? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, oh, excuse me, oh, rice, ow, <laughs> how are you today? <laughs> Listen, um, I was watching television, yes, <laughs> and there are multiple kinds of radar. There's the weather radar, yes, <laughs> where they have uh, this kind of infographic where they show the weather patterns because of the use of radar, yes. <laughs> The United Nations didn't get a hold of all the weather stations and the individuals that um, describe what the weather is going to be because it's somewhat um, it's amazing how uh, exact it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's as if they can read the weather patterns as they're going to happen for the next four or five days. <laughs> I was feeling a little radar yesterday, Angelina Puchin. Did you sew into me when we were on Guam? And does the state of California have uh, quite a few weather stations? I mean, every news station must have a weather person. Yes, some attractive. Oh, my goodness, you look good today. Being a weather woman, it is difficult to keep it stimulating, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> But it's somewhat humorous, these different news stations. Yes, they all have their own radar that uh, they are, they're, they're, could you give me every news station in the United States where they report the news, <clears throat> traffic, and weather? Ouch! Now, I just needed to know, fo, 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 that, uh, that radar that I was feeling yesterday, yes, that's not the actual airport radar, is it? That's like uh, Lindar or whatever you call it, the, the weather radar. <laughs> Why don't you get me? Yes. <laughs> every news station of every nation of the world. And then any and all weather equipment where you predict what the weather is going to do for the next 10 days. <laughs> Now, when you when you watch the weather, yes, because it is, it's like, well, this is going to rain, and the Seattle's going to get some rain, but then the Seahawks are going to play, and it might rain while they're playing, or something along these lines. Yeah, very interesting. Yes, it was. Oh, uh, yeah. But I thought that maybe as the United Nations being so concerned. <laughs> Why don't you give me all the weather predicting equipment at every news station of this great nation? Why don't you do that for me? Why don't you do it? Now, it would be somewhat deceptive. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you do it for me? Why don't you do that? That you decide to sew in the, the weather radar into the... <laughs> The brains of little babies and little toddlers and everything because you had to know what they you you did that didn't you did and the United Nations didn't want me to know you didn't know about it.